All right, boys and girls, um, we've gone blue. I quickly, um, I quickly done this last night. <clears throat> Got hold of some international paint, but once again, it was windy. So we'll give it another coat, rub down. That's only the first coat. So I'll give it a rub down and um, apply a second one with hopefully a bit more shine to it. All rubbed down now. Um, it's like criminal, really. I hate, I hate doing it. You put a nice coat of paint on there, and then you end up rubbing half of it off. But um, she's all rubbed down, ready for the second coat. All the bits off. All the way around now. I'm going to um, get a hose pipe and wet all this floor down when I do the when I do the top coat. Like really soak it. It's too much for me to sweep up. Um, it's, it's, so you can see, like I can sweep whatever bit up, but if I just wet everything, soak everything, soak the floor, it keep the dust down from when it, and give it a chance to go off. Um, you might wonder why I'm not spraying it. Um, we had the facilities to spray here, but we're not allowed by the yard owner, not allowed to um, to spray outside because of the other boats, which is understandable because you get over spray everything all over everyone that wants the boat, and uh, they don't want theirs peppered with blue. Still got to do that bit of wood. I might do that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's international. I think it's called Midnight Blue. Um, managed to get hold of a tin from a from a mate. Um, little tip: if you haven't got any sandpaper, but if your sandpaper is too coarse, what I do is I just find a bit of concrete, rub it out in a bit of concrete, and it just knocks it knocks it back, so it's not so not so aggressive and then she's ready to go so yeah I'll bring you back when uh, I'll bring you back when she's got her top coat on which hopefully might be today I'll see depending on the weather she looks don't look too bad but obviously I've got a day's work day's work ahead of me so there's no creak in the, there's no creek there's no creek in the mullet there's no mullet in the creek today so yeah She's getting here. I'm well, sorry I haven't been um, doing regular videos. I've just been so so busy, so busy at work, and I've had a week on a week away with the, um, the kids in the camper van. Um, while I was away, um, the dad, my old man, and my cousin um, fitted the cut the bearing shaft propeller and dropped the engine in. Um, done me a couple of little video clips just so I can share with you guys. Um, so. There's no the first bit is the uh, cutlass bearing putting in. Um, he's using a I can't remember what it is. He's using a bit of fret. He's using threaded bar basically. A couple of bits of scrap metal. We drilled holes in, and he's pulling it in, winding it in. And the second clip is the actual engine going in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a better do a an update because um, I've done a lot more since then. Um, she's now lined in. She's wired in. Um, the bits of woods have been done, decks been painted, bollards have been made. So yeah, she's had a lot, of, had a lot of work done to her. Um, but I haven't had a chance to do a video, so I apologise. Just bear with me, um, and hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe.
a test fit in the uh, engine in. We've already done the prop and the shaft. That's all done. Let's try and get it lined up. Right, come down. There's where the shaft's in. Need to come forward a bit more. Forward a bit more. Yeah. Bit more if you can. Yeah. Bit more if you can. Yeah. 